I used to be a badass back in high school, but now, I work at my parents' delivery service company. I'm Haruhiro Sagawa. I turned 26 this year. I'm back, Dad! Yo! How's your liquor store going? Thanks for always coming to us. I'll get that box for you. Haruhiro-kun, your father must be proud of you. You've grown up to be an impressive man. Haha! <laughs> I'll admit he works hard. Maybe more than me. Don't know what I'd do without him. Hey! Dinner's ready! Ooh! Fried fish! I got these horse mackerels on sale. Hey, Haruhiro! In case you didn't know, I'm extremely proud of you. Ah, cut it out! It's been five years since your mother moved back to her parents' house. You learned how to cook on your own. I don't know how you did it. Jeez, Dad, that's enough! Hey, don't be embarrassed! Whoa, sudden change of mood. You need a change in life. You're 26 years old. Why don't you have a girlfriend or two? <laughs> Dad, I don't need a woman in my life. You must be an idiot, Haruhiro. Women are the very reason we are alive right now. You wouldn't be here if it weren't for your mother. Have you thought of that? Why are you doing this to me? You're my only son! It's just... I don't want to be the guy chasing after girls all the time. Chase them and catch them! You got this, boy! You're not in elementary school anymore! Grow up! Your mother and I made a promise. We will live together once you get married. Oh, that sucks for you. I need to feel hope! You have to find a wife! I have an omi planned the day after tomorrow. Your dad misses your mom. He wants to cuddle her and hold her close. Uh, oh, uh, I have cooking lessons the day after tomorrow. Take the day off! Your priority is to find a wife, not cheap horse mackerels! My dad wouldn't back down. I had no choice but to go along with the omi Dad! Will you sit down already? You're making me nervous! Well, don't you think it's a bit rude to introduce me to a girl? What will she think if she finds out I used to be in a gang? Damn it. Why are you so considerate, my boy? Don't worry about it. Everybody has a past they regret. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. Thank you for coming to see us. Ah, uh, this won't do. I should go home. I don't deserve such a pretty girl. Seriously? I can't think of anything to say. Um, will you excuse me for a second? Uh Watch out! I'm so sorry! That- that shouldn't have happened! Um... That was... my first kiss. You... have to take responsibility for it. Oh, uh... of course! I'll bring my motorbike here. You can drag me all you want. We don't want the police involved. Let's... let's do it in my parking lot! <laughs> You're such a fool. You can't suggest that to a girl. I'll freak her out! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I... I don't have much experience with girls. Dude, it's me. Hello, you idiot. Have we met before? I don't have any female acquaintances. I doubt we've met before. You're too pretty. Totally out of my league. You're good. That was a smooth compliment. Ah, uh, do I have to tell you who I am? Kaho Yamato. We used to be on the same team. What? Kaho? The silver-haired girl who used to burst out into laughter all the time? Never mind. You haven't changed at all. Yes, that Kaho. Now that you mention it, you have the same voice. Oh, I know! You got plastic surgery! Haruhiro, I'm pretty sure you're trying to compliment me, but... It's not working. No wonder your father came to me crying to beg me to meet you. Kaho Yamato. We used to be a part of the same gang. She was my nemesis. She used to mess with me all the time. I was surprised to see such a feminine side to her, and I had no idea Dad had cried for her help. I never would have imagined you to grow up like this. How did you become so pretty? Yeah, um, her hero? Back then? I thought I was cool for being part of the gang, but... You know, 
All we did was ride our bikes to deliver packages. We competed who could make the fastest delivery. Yeah, we were so badass, huh? No, we weren't. What we did was not something a gang would do. We were a bunch of kids with our hair dyed. Who had a part-time job at your dad's business. No, it can't be. But, I mean, we even had matching jackets. Yeah, um, that was our uniform. Your dad handed it out to us. You're smart. No wonder you got into university. Oh, so you were actually listening to our parents talking? I thought you were going to die because you sat there in silence. It looked like your soul left your body. You had me worried. Kaho graduated from university, and she works at her father's company. He owns a delivery service company, just like my father, but it's ten times bigger than ours. I heard the CEO of a famous car company offered a marriage proposal for his son and Kaho. I'm impressed. So, do you want to live together? What? But you said you might get married. Yes, but I don't want to get married to him. That's why I'm getting engaged to you, our hero. Kaho, we're talking about an engagement. It's a once-in-a-lifetime sort of thing. You have to think things through first. No? Uh, what do you mean? I know one thing. Women hold important life events close to their hearts until they die. Oh, hey. You're not as stupid as I thought. Hey, our hero. Do you remember who took my first kiss earlier? That's a once-in-a-lifetime event. Oh, uh... That would be... me. It'll only be until the engagement with the car boy is off. Live with me until then. Uh, okay. I guess I owe you that. I'll live with you. Things were hectic after that. I moved in with Kaho the following week. Her father prepared a house for us to live in together. Seriously? I thought we'd be living in an apartment. This used to be company housing, but they don't use it anymore. And your father knows what's going on? <laughs> Seriously? Ah, I'm calling him right now! Put it down! You have no idea what a fake relationship means, do you? We can't trick your parents into this! Kaho, you used to be an honest person. You were never one to lie. Why would you ruin the only good thing about you? Ah, oh, God. That was... unexpected. You say all the right things to grab a girl's heart. I'll give you 88 out of 100. Wow. I've never gotten over 50 on any of my tests. Thanks a lot, Kaho. Anyways, how did you get your hair to turn silver in just a week? Oh, well, I temporarily dyed my hair black for the Omiyai. I wanted to show you a classy side of me. Uh, did you like it? Yeah. That was shocking. I didn't know such beauty existed in the world. Meeting the Loch Ness Monster would be nothing to me now. Jeez! It's our first day together and you're already hitting on me. Just FYI, this is a fake relationship. We won't be getting intimate, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh my, did that disappoint you? Fine, you can hold my hand if you want to. <laughs> Shut up, moron! I might fall for you for real if I hold your hand. I... Hold it in how? Ah, he's too cute! <laughs> you cannot act on your desire, Hell. Uh, wait! I thought you hated me! We used to be each other's biggest enemies! Huh? I never hated you. Biggest enemy? Really? You were always trying to compete with me. The other girls never did that. Oh, yeah. That was because you were fun to mess with. You had the best reactions. Gosh, I'm shocked you thought I hated you. So you don't hate me? Of course I don't. Why would I go to an Omiyai to meet somebody I hate? I knew who you were. I saw your name and picture. Is that so? My dad told me I wasn't allowed to know anything about you until I met you. He said that was an Omiyai tradition. I didn't know your name or your face. Did he lie to me? You're such an idiot, our hero. It's nice to know you haven't changed a bit. It warms my heart. And so, my life with Kaho started. I'm home! 
I'll get dinner ready soon. Uh <laughs> You're too late. Dinner is already being served. Tonkatsu, freshly made. Here you go. This can't be! You ruined my plan, Haruhiro. I was going to show you that I'm housewife material by cooking a delicious meal. That you were supposed to be like, gosh, she isn't what I expected at all. Why do I have to stand here thinking, oh my gosh, I love this new side of him! I did all the housework at home since my mom wasn't around to do it. <laughs> this is so good! I'm glad you like it. I'm glad I put in the effort. I never knew how pretty you looked when you smiled. Hey! Stop slipping in compliments while you talk! I don't know how much longer I can hold my feelings in! Ugh! I need a drink! Now! Ume shoe's your favorite, right? I'll bring it over. Enjoy your tonkatsu! <laughs> what is wrong with him? He's perfect! So, hard hero, would you consider working for us? That will never happen. Why? Is it because you would feel uncomfortable working with my father? No. I don't want to leave my dad alone. I caused him a lot of trouble when I was young. You're so loyal. I'm not giving up. You've already talked about it with your daddy. We are considering merging our companies in the near future. Seriously? That changes everything. My dad will finally get what he deserves. And I would love to work with you. It'll be so much fun. I've never worked with a colleague my age. Great! You can start tomorrow. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, you called my dad Daddy. That's kind of weird. What? No, it's not weird at all. Really? Okay, I'm ready to work hard. The next day, I started working at Speed Delivery Service, Kaho's father's company. I'm back from a delivery! I'm ready for the next load, sir! Hey, Kaho, you shouldn't be holding that, it's too heavy! Give it to me! Kaho-chan, Haruhiro-kun is excellent at his job. Yeah, it's actually kind of scary. Kaho's father let me work overtime. When I got home, I'm home. Huh? Please, you can't do that. A marriage is an agreement between two people. I have already declined your offer. As I told you before, I'm engaged. Are you on the phone with Carboy? Looks like you need help. Is it okay if I end this right now? Okay, give me the phone. Hello? Who the hell are you? My name is Haruhiro Sagawa. I happen to be Kaho's fiance. Uh, your name was Hino-san, right? Stop bothering my future wife. She wants nothing to do with you. You're going to regret this. Not as much as I would regret failing to protect the woman I love. In the future, you'll have to go through me if there's anything you want to talk about. I'll send you my phone number and line ID. I also started using Twitter. Feel free to follow me. I'll send you- Hey! You hung up on me! Uh, a real hero! You can't put yourself in danger for me! This guy is crazy. You have no idea what he'll do. More the reason for me to butt in. Our relationship may be fake, but I'm still your fiancé. Keep your mouth shut. Let me protect you. Tease. You're so cool. Um, our hero? I have to tell you something. Hold on. How do I find my line ID? I told him I'd send it to him. I have to get it done before anything else. You're so clueless to my feelings. It's so sad. Hmm? Who the hell are you? Somebody out there wants us to give you a lesson. You've got to be kidding me. He sent his minions? I'll give them what they deserve! Stop right there, Kaho. I won't allow a scratch on your beautiful face. And fist fighting to solve things is never right. We're better than that. <laughs> the man isn't gonna put up a fight! I understand how you feel. I used to be like you when I was young. Huh? How are you? You were nothing like them. You worked hard to help your daddy. I never studied, and I dyed my hair blonde. What the hell? Is he bragging about his past? Dumbass. You only have time to study when you're young. Don't waste your time doing this. I wish I could go back in time to learn more. Fine, I'll show you. You, with the mohawk. 
Give me two two-digit numbers. Huh? 55 and 11. Hey, he obeyed. Mohawk might be a good guy. 605! Multiplication! I learned this on my own. It took me three years. But it wouldn't have taken me this long if I were young like you three. Uh, amazing! He's incredible! Still, strength is what defines a man's worth! I used to feel exactly like you do. I'm sure strength is important as well. However, knowledge is crucial unless you want to end up single till you die. He's so cool! Violence is for losers. Keep that in mind. One more thing. If you dare threaten my woman again, you'll regret it when I beat you to mush, you morons! <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfect example of contradiction. Boy, did we mess with the wrong guy! Let's go, guys! Let's buy some workbooks on our way home! Gosh, that speech was ridiculous. I'm baffled that it worked. We're not done yet. I have the power to crush your company. So, you're Hino, huh? You had the same last name, so I did a little research. I can't believe you're related to him. Does your older brother know about the mess you've made, little boy? How the hell do you know my brother? Ah! Uh, bro? You little brat. What do you think you're doing? Haruhiro is a friend of mine. He's also a client. How dare you pick a fight with one of our VIPs? I'm sorry for the trouble he's caused. I'll give him a proper lesson. He'll never bother you again. Uh, who is that? He seems to be very unique. Oh, we buy all of our trucks from Shosan. He's the CEO of Hino Hino Motors. He used to be the biggest bad boy around. Yeah, he seems like he still is. Let's go home. Leave all the bothersome issues to me from now on, okay? Wow, thank you! Hello? You were so cool back there. What happened to you? Oh, yeah. That Haruhiro is gone. You can't press your breasts into my arm like that. It's lethal. No wonder people used to call you the best. You can kill any guy with those. You're the only one who called me the best. <sighs> ah! Hey, stop it! You know, you were so cool back there, but you lost it. Anyway, there's something I should apologize for. Whatever it is, go ahead. I'm ready. I'm really sorry. The kiss you're in your omi eye. I did it on purpose. It wasn't an accident. Huh? Oh, okay. I have feelings for you. I wanted to live with you. I know I'm the worst. I lied to you. Oh, uh... You can tell me if you hate me for it. I can tell you don't want to be here. No, I look like this because I still can't get over... how soft your breasts were, Kaho. You're still on that topic? It's been a while since we moved in together. Are you used to them by now? How can they affect you so much? Does anybody ever get used to the breasts of the girl they like? Huh? You... like me? You have romantic feelings for me? I don't get why you look so surprised. Besides, I've had feelings for you ever since we were in a gang together. I recently realized. What's in a gang? Whatever! I won't correct you anymore! And I know now. I thought you didn't like me because I was too conscious of how you felt about me. I was afraid you hated me. Uh, I think I'm going insane. I like you too much. Uh. Uh. You have to take responsibility for this. I want... I want to have your babies, our hero. Uh. I'll be honest. I have no experience in this area whatsoever. But I'm not a man if I let this opportunity pass. I'll do it, Kaho. Huh? You're suddenly in the mood? I mean, I'm not complaining. Yeah, we got this. The sky is the limit for us. That's not the most seductive line, but okay. Haro Hero? How high up is the sky? Does that mean we're in heaven? Oh! <laughs> I like you just the way you are. Okay, 
How about we cuddle while we sleep tonight? Uh, seriously? Wait, are we in heaven or not? Uh, I have a feeling it'll be a while before we get to introduce our kid to their grandparents. Hey, we'll take it slow. Getting you to propose to me is a huge achievement for me. Three years later, Kaho finally gave birth. I'm still not sure what part of the sky we are, but I'm pretty sure we can call the life we have heaven. And I'll make sure it stays that way. <laughs> 